gives you the personal connection. You know, it's on, it's on, for me, it's on a par with something like a podcast insofar as you, you're talking, I'm talking to Liam, Liam's talking to Mark, you know, it's not this broadcast. Or you shouldn't feel like it's a broadcast. Um, so the way that I use it and the way, that, the way that I feel you can use it is, you know, a lot of people worry about mixing business and pleasure with the content. So they have two Twitter feeds. Here's where I post my professional stuff. Here's where I post my stuff about my Superman hat and my DC Comics fanaticism that I have, uh, which I do have. <laughs> and I, I, I worry about that because it gives you nothing to talk about. If you walked into a room with, let's say you and I had never met, we'd never spoken before, and we were in a business networking scenario. There is no way on earth that we would get along if all we spoke about was business. We'd talk about something else. We'd talk about you know, what, what we did that annoys our wives. We'd talk about what kind of dog we've got. We'd talk about the sports teams. We'd talk about movies or TV or music. Or, it's just a natural flow of conversation. So I, I, I have this problem where people separate that and forget that. So they go business and pleasure. And it's kind of crazy, I think, to do that. Um, but the way that I use it in, in, in email marketing, I think the way that everyone can use it is that the only thing that, the only thing that marketers ever tell you to do, and you, you know, we've all had marketing consultants in the past that come in and they bring the whiteboards down and it feels like a really good session. And all they do is they bang on about the USP, your unique selling proposition. And the sad fact is, unless you sell some kind of widgets that have never been sold before, or you've got some kind of patent, you've got some kind of, um, some kind of uni actually genuine unique thing about your products, then you aren't unique. You aren't unique. Like Apple are not unique. They do what Microsoft do. It's their UX that makes them different. And that's their personality. Steve Jobs' personality is in everything that Apple does. And I feel that that's a really important point because if marketers tell you to market your USP, the only, the, the only thing that is guaranteed to be different between any business and any email that gets sent out is you and I. We could do the very same thing, but the only thing that's different is your life experience is much different from my life experience. You have a different home, different set of parents, different set of friends, different dog, different set of kids, different wife. You have all of this stuff that is completely unique to you. So why not talk about it? So the way I use it is quite fun. I um, last week sent an email out. Um, what did I ask for? I asked for a survey to be filled out, and I hate filling surveys out. Man. If you send me an email saying, can you fill a survey out? I'm like, oh, I'd love to help you, but I'll do that later. And... What I did was in that survey, I said something like, we're working on a new startup. It's, um, it's, harder than, it's harder than catching a chicken when you're training for a boxing match. And then I put a list, little asterisk in there and I put right at the bottom. I went on to talk about it. I said, the reason I'm writing is because it is that hard. We're struggling to catch the chicken. We're struggling to find out what we want to do and take a hold of that. And I want you to fill this survey out to help me. And the asterisk led to a little notation at the bottom. And the notation said, by the way, if you can name the film and the person that makes the guy in the film chase that chicken, beers on me. And ordinarily, and I've tried this so many times, surveys, no one responds, no one responds. I got a massive response from that. I'm talking like five times what I would have expected. And all of the things... All of, the, all of the replies and all the things that came out of it, all the goodness, were anchored around the point that it was Mickey Goldmill out of Rocky getting Rocky to chase a chicken around. Um, and it was the guys that resonated with that. They were like, yeah, of course, I'll help with that one because I want to prove that I'm on the same wavelength as Mark is and he understand, you know, I understand this pop culture reference. Um, I've done it. I do it in all sorts of ways. I do it on my Twitter feed. My Twitter feed is a mix of business and showing you that my dog has jumped into a lake trying to chase a duck or that I've got some new DC comics or, or whatever. Now, the real great thing with that is if I, ever, um, if I ever send an email out that is particularly asking for a particular level of effort from someone, so it's not just a two-minute survey. Maybe I need someone to help me with something. You know, Maybe I need genuine help, like mentoring, or maybe I'm asking them to buy something. I'll anchor it around a point of personality that I know that I've got in common with the people that have replied to Mickey Goldmill being the trainer in Rocky. So I can go back and say, you know, listen, I've had a bit of a pivot going on in my business, but as you know, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and get back up. Can you help me with this? And instantly, they anchor back to that feeling good of helping you the last time. Um, 
So you've got all these little things that you can do. And very often, I went to, um, so with podcast websites, one of the businesses that I'm in, we went to podcast movement last year. And we, we hosted a breakfast and we surprised everyone by paying for the breakfast, which really annoyed my accountant. And we went out there and we had a good time and everything that, you know, everything went on. We put pictures out, a really good time. And the single biggest thing that came up, the single big, in fact, there were two things. The single biggest thing that came up out of all of that was people coming up to me and asking me, one, how's your dog? <laughs> because they knew about the dog. Or two, who would win in a fight between Batman and Superman? Because they all know I'm a DC Comics fan. And instantly, these people that I would never normally have an instant rapport with felt like they knew me. So I putting all of my personality into my emails, putting all of my personality into that, helped me create a community that I was then able to send an email to and generate the fourteen thousand pounds worth of income. And it, it, it really helps, you know, just getting in the little bit of personality. And people are afraid of that. People are really scared of it because you're bearing your soul. You're you're actually you're actually kind of admitting that you're not this infallible human business machine. And you're actually saying that I'm a human and I've got a wife and I've, I've got kids and I've got a dog and I'm into DC comics. And you know what? I'm terrible at football and all of this stuff. And people really, really buy into that because they've all got things that they can relate to with that. Um, so for me, it's about creating these emotional anchor points and letting people know that you're a real person that is approachable. And you can do that in all of your content. You know, you can finish it off with a little joke. I've got a very specific writing style. Um, I often start blog posts with something like, you know me, I got a bit addicted to season 10 of Smallville. And, uh, you know, I'm, really, I'm here to talk about my journey, which has also spanned 10 years. And I, I, really silly little things that even when I talk to my wife about it, she's like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? But the great thing is they're the bits of conversation that lead to the business conversation. They're the door openers. They're the icebreakers. They're the bits of things that you can anchor to so that allow you to get help and give help to people. So, yeah, I, I think it's really, really important to just open the door to people and not give everything away and not let anyone into your life in a manner that you wouldn't normally let people in. But let people see that you've got a bit of a personality. Let people see that you're a real person and you like this and you really dislike this. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that you can do is be different. It's very rare that you can be better because everyone's supposed to be better these days. Social media holds us accountable. Everyone shouts about things. The internet makes us all level. So the only thing you can be is different. And the only thing that is unique about us is everything that's in us. So you've got to market that USP, you know?